all of us have strength and weakness but once you are in the middle then you are competing it's time to compete it's not about what i can't do it's all about what i can do cannot succeed with just a good positive mindset you need skills to back it up in a same way you can't succeed just with good skills if you don't have a good cricketing mind to back your skills hi everyone welcome to my channel cricket with nav today we will be talking about starting an inning how to start your inning no matter are you an opener middle order or you're batting till late if you are an opener your inning starts already before you step into the pitch. How you warm up, how you make your mind ready, how do you hit few balls uh, to start. Some people don't need it, some people do. So do all of those things which you think will help you to go and face the first ball. The prep starts from outside. So if you are batting in middle order or late in the order, then obviously you should sit and watch what the pitch is doing, what the bowlers are doing. What is the fielding team's body language? And then obviously you're going to hit few balls, you stretch and make, so, make sure you are ready to go in. Now, once you step on the pitch, your body language is the key. You should have open shoulder. You should walk like you're going there to make business. You mean business. You are there, you are going there to score runs. You are not get, going there to survive. And it all can be seen with your body language. So you should have a positive body language, good posture, you walk. Once you step on the pitch, you take your guard, you take your guard with confidence. You go, you knock the pitch, you look around, you do your stretches, whatever you do to make sure you're giving a strong message to the bowler and the opposition. Sometimes you also speak to your partner who has been batting for a while to get a few ideas what bowler is doing, what the pitch is playing kind of thing. Very briefly, you don't want too many information in your head, just brief idea, then you come back. The field placement gives me an idea what the bowler is trying to do or which line probably he will bowl to. But at the same time, I would not like to suggest, or I wouldn't do myself to premeditate anything. Batting is not about premeditating. Batting is instinctive. You watch the ball and you react. So make sure you look around, give yourself all this information to give yourself an idea. But once the ball is start running, you should have a really clear blank head. Just watch the ball and play the ball. So that's how you start your inning. Now, Obviously, when you start in your innings, you also need to look where your scoring options are. Where is the ball? If the ball comes to you, and trust me, I've been playing cricket for 25 years. All those information massively helps. Once I know there's no square leg, or once I know there is no one between point and extra cover, the sweeper is back. Then I know if I put in there, I can score a run. And then as it hit the good lengths, straight away I know it's a good ball, but I have a couple of options to play square leg or open the face to go towards third man or go between point and extra cover to take one. So keeping those scoring options is really important when you're starting your inning. Because you know and I know when we go to bat, the first thing we want to do is we just want to get off the mark. You don't want to be stuck on zero for a long period. Obviously, in the next episode, we will talk about how to build your inning. Then I will be more talking about your scoring options. What are your boundary options? What is your mindset? How to read what bowler is trying to do? How to see what the scoreboard is asking you to do? How to see what your strengths and weaknesses are? And then within your strengths and weaknesses, how do you build your inning? So that's what we will talk about in the next episode. But in this one, just make sure your body language, your positivity, your skills are there on the top when you start walking to go to bat or to start your inning. So do proper warm up, watch what's happening in the middle, get all the information you can as much as possible, but more importantly, go and start trying to keep things really simple. Don't overthink. When you're starting your inning, it's not the time to think about, oh, my feet's not moving or my hand going too far or my head is falling. This is not the time to think about what you cannot do or what are your weaknesses. This is the time about, you know what, whatever I have, I'm going to show the best I can do. 
within my ability. That's the mindset you should have. Every, all of us have strength and weaknesses. But once you are in the middle, then you are competing. It's time to compete. It's not about what I can't do. It's all about what I can do within my control. And what is in your control? Watch the ball, hit the ball, hit the ball into the gaps, hit the ball along the ground, leave the good balls, hit the bad balls, and that's it. If you get out, you get out. So what? But keep it simple, be positive, back yourself. Whatever strengths you have, play to your strengths. We're going to talk more about the strengths and weaknesses in our next episode. Smash the like button, subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed because more stuff will be coming soon. And I'll see you very soon in my next video.